Africa Business Radio, towards a profitable Africa. The White House plans to end Cameroon's preferential trade status in 2020 because of alleged human rights violations, a charge the West African nation's government disputes. U.S. President Donald Trump announced his decision in a written written message in Congress saying Cameroon's government engages in gross violations of internally recognized human rights, including extrajudicial killings, arbitrary and unlawful detention and torture. As of January 1, Cameroon will be removed from the list of countries benefiting from the African Growth and Opportunity Act. The 2000 law aims to stimulate U.S. trade and investment in sub-Saharan Africa and bolster economic growth in the region, primarily by enabling participating countries to market goods to the United States duty-free. Cameroon was among 39 countries participating as of last January. Participants must share evidence of working towards a market-based economy, upholding core labor standards, establishing the rule of law, and respecting human rights. Trump blamed rights violations on the administration of Paul Bia, president since 1982. Cameroon's Information Minister René Emmanuel defended the government, saying they think Cameroon is certainly one of the countries in Africa that has done a lot in terms of democracy, in terms of promoting liberties. But he added, maybe there is a lot of injustice in the country where the respect of human rights is concerned, so he thinks they will have to look into this decision. Up next, foreign news. Africa Business Radio, towards a profitable Africa.